Picture this. Imagine the feelings as you walk away from the only home you have known. It's the mid-1800s in Ireland. In a busy harbor, you and hundreds of others step aboard a crowded tall sailing ship bound for a place called America. You're carrying a small bag of belongings, some food and water, holding a baby, while the small hand of another child is clutching your coat, unknowing what lies ahead, but trusting, hoping, that the 12-week journey across the Atlantic will take you safely to a new home, a better life, where there will be work, food, shelter, and a future. This was a common scenario for the Irish facing religious and political turmoil in a deadly potato famine. Sailing ships and steamboats brought hundreds of thousands of Irish immigrants to unfamiliar harbors, from Quebec to Boston. What kept the Irish moving? Promises of work, places to live. Still, there were no guarantees. At the beginning of the 19th century, Lewiston, Maine was still a sparsely populated frontier community. In 1850, Lewiston was the most Irish of any town in Maine. Irishmen represented nearly 75% of all the unskilled laborers in town. Textile and rail tycoons depended on Irish workers to build the Grand Trunk Railroad and dig miles of canals to channel waters from the Androscoggin River and Lewiston Falls into the sprawling Bates textile mills and other emerging industries. Water power transformed what once was a small farming town into an industrial giant. Historian Margaret J. Bucher wrote this, The Irish experience in Lewiston represented no rags-to-riches phenomenon. Progress was often slow, and often slowest for those who had farthest to go. The majority of Irishmen who came to Lewiston in the 1850s and 1860s were poor, illiterate, and burdened by heavy family responsibilities. They adjusted to their condition as best they could, accepting the types of employment which were available, making small advances when the opportunities arose. Some were more fortunate than others and were able to achieve. By the 1920s, Lewiston had become much more of a French-Canadian town. The Irish and French had differences, but they lived and worked together and continued to build their community. Irish were changing agents. Their religious and fraternal organizations helped to tie the Irish community together. They became firemen, policemen, labor organizers. They took active roles in local and state politics. And today, the children and grandchildren of Early immigrants are community leaders and today continue to make a difference in one of Maine's largest cities. Cultural diversity arrived with Irish immigrants when they came to Lewiston 170 years ago. Doors remained open for others seeking a better life. Most recently, refugees from Kenya, Somalia, and Angola. They've brought their histories, their cultures, to the cities of the Androscoggin, and the community is richer because they arrived and settled. And it all began when the Irish came to Lewiston.